Alright. So, I look horrible. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way I could make myself look better right now. <laughs> How do you wear these hats? Oh, no. That was a good day, but pretty good. No, not so much. Well, guys, <clears throat> so I have some good things to say and some bad things to say. I'm going to start with the bad things. I was going to show you my dress, and don't be mad at me. I'm not going to show you today. I have to go and, or I took it to get cleaned and taken in. I'm sorry. I'm running out of time though, guys. I've got to get, I've got to get the dress dry cleaned and taken in. So no dress, but hopefully I'll be, I'll have it back in time to show you guys. So please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I know some of you might be really mad. Some of you probably don't care at all. Some of you are just probably irritated. But I thought I'd take this moment to um, answer some of your questions. Because a lot of you had some great questions for me. And somehow if I talk in a British accent, I feel a little bit wiser. So maybe I'll talk like this while I answer your questions. That way I'll feel worthy of answering your questions. And I should say questions one more time. What do you think? So for real, a lot of you want to know about uh, my true feelings about being a mom. And what that's like for me. And... Um, there's so many other things, um, but I'm going to talk about being a mommy right now. It's been really hard right now, you guys. <clears throat> now, as a young little girl, I don't know where I was going with that, but <clears throat> uh, seriously though, as a young girl, I wanted to be a mommy. That's what I wanted. That's what I aspired to. I had little side things that I was very passionate about performing. Um, I don't know what that is either. <laughs> I love to sing and dance and act, and I liked um, planning parties for people and bringing a bridal consultant. Can you believe that? Having one baby was just, it wasn't hard. People always, you know, tell me that different at different stages, it's hard. For me, one was not hard. One was um, dreamy and amazing. Oh, it was priceless. When we were expecting two. I was so excited. And we had to, and I could not have been happier. It was magic. It was magical to watch my children laugh together, to care for each other, to play together. And as they get older, it's just getting more magical. Enter child three, who is equally amazing. He is snuggly and creative and and adventurous. He's amazing. This is not a reflection of him at all. It's hard to balance three for me. I don't know if you've ever done strengths finders. People who've done strengths finders, let me hear you. My top five strengths are restorative, empathy, woo. What's woo, Anna? Woo is winning others over. Includer and harmony. If you have not done Strength Finders, I highly recommend it for you and your spouse. If you're married, if you're not, just do it for yourself because it's powerful and you really learn a lot of things. Anyway, come to find out that I'm pretty much just a bleeding heart. That's pretty much all I am. That really sums me up. Not that mine are not amazing because they're what make me and, and that's just something. <laughs> Been a hard day. Took a long time for me to embrace my sensitivity. The world hasn't caught on yet. <laughs> People don't like a sensitive person. It doesn't make somebody comfortable. No, 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 no. So it took me a long time. Just recently, probably in the last, I don't know, five years, I've real or even less than that, maybe three, two or three years, I've realized that like I didn't cry as much as I used to. And it it felt weird and wrong and it didn't feel like me at all and it felt like something inside of me was closed down and unhealthy 
but I was kind of relieved because I wouldn't burst into tears at commercials anymore and I wouldn't, you know, embarrass myself in public. <laughs> and, but I was sad and I was like, there's something wrong with me. This isn't who I am. And so I started really talking to God about it. Honestly, honestly talked to God about it. And I was just like, God, you know, what's going on with me and, you know, tear down these walls. Cause I know that this is how you created me and I want me back because that's who you created. And lo and behold, when you ask the Lord, give it <laughs> because holy cow, man, it's coming back. For a mommy who has a bleeding heart, <laughs> like me, <laughs> juggling three different people's needs and wants and making sure everybody feels included and loved and that their feelings aren't hurting, it's a, it's a mighty task that I'm not always up for. It's so hard and it's not my baby's fault. Sometimes it is, but rarely. It's actually a lot my fault. Something I looked up today was that um, one of my struggles is that I, I had a rocky childhood. A lot of people had it worse than me. I'm not saying I had it the worst at all, but I had a difficult childhood. It wasn't totally easy. And in a lot of ways, with all respect to my parents, um, they were going through a very difficult time when I was young. And so I wasn't getting a lot of the attention I needed, especially for a sensitive person. And... Um, this took a big toll on me and, and I wasn't getting trained and I wasn't getting support. And so training my children now to do normal things is harder because I'm having to, through these years of adulthood, I've been having to train myself. And a lot of times I was really lax and didn't care or didn't know. Um, and so I'm learning now that I'm training my kids and without that foundation under me, it's really hard but I don't want my kids to say that. And I could cry right now because I don't want my kids to say the same thing. So the work that I'm putting in right now feels a little bit um, backbreaking. And this is not my, my children's fault at all. It's just life. It is learning the hard way because if I, um, not having the foundation laid for me, early on and then not taking the reins of it in early adulthood. I'm really feeling it now. May hit and it was like school is going to end. Baseball was going to end, but it didn't end. And I was like, I need it. <laughs> and came June and we, I was like, okay, we're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up. We wrapped everything up and I was like, I'm just going to go on a break. So I sure did. I just kind of went, you know, it's summer. Let's just take it easy. And man, am I reaping what I've sowed because I did not get on my kids and my kids are a lot like me. Um, and it just kind of, they learn quickly. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't have that gene. I, I don't learn quickly, but they learn quickly my habits and that's not good. You ever have those moments where you look at your husband and he knows something's going on and he says, what's going on? And you're saying, I feel like I need to leave but I don't want to. And he says, you need to go. He held me in my, in his arms. And he said, you need to go just breathe. And that support meant the world to me. But as far as my true feelings about motherhood, I adore it. I think it is the most amazing thing I have ever done. And it is so difficult, but nothing good is, is ever super easy, right? I mean, look at your debt-free journey. That is stinking hard work, but in the end, it feels so good. And every day I get the joys of their laughter. And today I had to ask for forgiveness for them, from them today because I had a hard day, a really hard day. One of the reasons we had a hard day was because we came from a hard night because our sweet little toddler, Colin, has learned a new skill. Do you want to see it? We're going to show it to you right now. Hey, Col Colin's figured it out. Yeah. Check it out, guys. So Go. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh, he knows it's not. <laughs> Are you going to get down? Come down.
guys, I can't believe it. It's hard to hear because of the air conditioning and white noise. Literally, they were screaming and I had to I had to come in here and check and and Colin was actually up there, which is kinda scary, right? Kinda scary. Can you believe that? That he can do that? So that throws us off a whole bunch. I don't even know what to do about it. So we're, he's in the pack in place so that if he does climb out, at least he doesn't have a really far fall. And we're trying to figure that out. Everything just boggles your mind when you're a parent, guys. Don't you feel that way? My mind is boggled. When you make your kids scrambled eggs in the morning, think of my brain because that's where we're at with this. I hope you're much better than I am. No, I do hope that you had a great day, and I hope that um, that you appreciate my authenticity, my transparency, because I'm totally naked here, folks. Like, I mean, I'm not naked. I have a shirt on. Obviously, I have clothing on, shorts and everything. I'm not naked, but I am so naked emotionally right now. I'm just, like, sharing with you that... Um, the some of the ins and outs just some of them because this is not all but definitely enough to make me feel naked so won't you get naked with me next time <laughs> this needs to stop i just need to stop vlogging now well, i hope that i get to talk to you again soon you're probably not hoping the same thing Next week, let's talk about marriage. Maybe it'll be a happier vlog. Are you still here? You can totally go now. It'll make it awkward. You're making it awkward. Do you want to hug? Do, should we hug it out? Would that make? Would that bring closure? It might help me. Let's just hug it out. Let's, let's, that's not awkward, right? It's just I mean, okay. Let's just do this. Oh, that's kind of nice. Thanks, YouTube people.